Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. Today we've got the Rocket Drone by Lee Shee Toys. Get it bought in time for Christmas. Hi, welcome back. Something totally different today. So this is the Brain Power Foldable Rocket. It goes by many different names. Uh, I'll put this up on the screen. But this one's listed as a BP118 2.4 GHz. So, this is one of the craziest things I think I've ever bought to review. And I was quite surprised how good it was actually. So, believe it or not, that's the drill. In here you also get a controller. You also get some prop guards. The phone holder which clips on there, which I'm not going to show you in a minute, but I will show you the app working. And then, in the other box, you get some spare props, the screwdriver of course, and your charging cable. Is there anything else in here? Nope, that's it. So, that's what comes in the box. So. This is it. It actually doesn't, so I don't know if you can tell in here, but it's like a satiny red metallic -y look finish and it's actually quite nice. So, it's got folding arms. And the arms are quite nice, the way they fold, they lock in place and it's got a little bit on there as you can see. It has a camera on the bottom that is actually controllable believe it or not, from the controller. It's got sensors, infrared sensors on the side for obstacle avoidance. <laughs> so if it's flying towards you in the house and you do that, it will stop it. It will go round you, everything's silly. They don't work outside because of the way they work, it's infrared. So that is the drone itself in here. This is a little bit awkward to pull off, it's just me with my fingers probably. So in here you get a battery, the battery plugs in there obviously. And it is a three point so it's a one cell nine hundred milliamp. So it's not and I've got quite a few batteries actually fit in here. So a lot of the stuff off the brushless I've got some brushless quads that have a thousand milliamp hour ones. Batteries are here and they fit fine. So that just clips on there. Overall, the finish is good. Turn it on there. So on the front, you've got a power indicator. So this is telling me it's not bound. Turn your controller on. There you go. So it's bound. So the three lights are telling me that it's got full battery power. So they will diminish. It gets about seven, eight minutes flight time. These diminish as it's going down. So as you, you lose a cell, once it's got to two, it drops quite quickly. It's not the most accurate thing in the world, but I suppose it's got it's some kind of... It's got some kind of um, thing on there to show you, at least, hasn't it? So, Which a lot of things don't have. So I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the camera tilting up and down? Quite crazy, really. So, they're controlled by there and there. So, that one and that one. Then you've got your photo, your video, headless mode, train buttons, and return to home, uh, which I take with a pinch of salt. And this is the control. The control is actually quite nice. It's not that bad at all. It's quite a nice controller. Quite surprising. So, and then you've got take off and land. So it does have auto take off and auto land. So. The one thing about this is when it lands, you've got a very small mass to land it on. So your surface area isn't great. So as it's coming down, it does tend to tip a little bit. Which isn't too bad because this thing senses, and I, when it senses it's going over, it stops the motors, which is quite decent. Uh, I've flown this quite a few times and crashed it quite a few times inside and I haven't even got a scratch on it. Um, it really is. It shocked me actually for the price. I think I can't remember what I paid for this, but it was under thirty quid um, for everything you see for the controller and the camera isn't that bad. So it obviously runs on an app. So let's just 
show you the app. Let's just connect my phone to the Wi-Fi. And what you're looking for is foldable drones. One four five one. I'll leave a link in the description to where I bought it from. And as I said, there is this is under so many different names, um, and the, it uses a thing called LS Drone. For the app, and there you go. It's got its typical amount of latency, but I don't know if you can see that. Let's just get it to hold the drone up. It's sharp. Look how sh it's very. Sorry about that. It's got a very sharp image. You can read quite clearly what's on uh, my monitor there. I was surprised how sharp the image was. The picture quality isn't bad at all. I was very surprised how good this was. You can obviously fly it by the app. And the app's got your typical settings on here. Um, I don't like flying by apps, but you've got your, your sighted stop your video for me. You can adjust your rates, yada, yada, yada. And then if you turn it on, you can fly it with a dreaded phone. Not that I ever do, but you can. I don't understand how people can fly by phone. I find it impossible. So that's basically the drill. What I do like about it is, if you look here, can you see them four balls? So this, this is, if you, in essence, if you just imagine, this is your drone. And it is mount, soft mounted. So that's the drone. And in here, if you imagine, is all your giz, is all the guts. The six axis gimbal, the six axis controller, sorry. And then down at the bottom of your camera. So you do get in wind, and this is not recommended to fly in wind, I do not recommend you fly in wind at all, this needs to be a calm, very calm day outside, because obviously it has a pendulum effect, so as you're flying, even a calm day it's fine, but as soon as this thing hits wind, and it gets a bit of wind, this thing is all over, now to give it its credit, it doesn't come down, the gyro manages to sort itself out, but not the best when you want a video, so I recommend you fly it indoors, or in a very calm day. I'll have added some footage at some point during the video. I can't tell you when I did it. But it will be on the video showing that you're flying indoors. Um, I should have flown this early summer when the weather was actually decent. And now it's absolutely horrendous. So I will do some flight footage. And show you flying indoors. And I'll also film it with my GoPro to show how stable it is. All in all, for the money, I think it's a, it's a great thing. Now, with Christmas coming up, and it isn't that far away... This would be a nice little gimmicky kind of thing to give maybe your husband or a kid even because it's just something totally different. You don't see many things like this. It's, that's why I bought it. The hobby's supposed to be fun after all. Too many people take everything far too seriously. This is a nice little gimmick. So, thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.